Hey y'all, Bill here, metal detecting RVer. I just wanted to make a quick video. If uh, you watched my last video about uh, coming down to Panama City from uh, from home, you remember that it had a, a loud hissing noise. Well, as it turns out, I had an air leak in my parking brake, and uh, no matter whether it was on or off, it was still leaking air. So, got down here, contacted the Detroit Diesel down in. Uh, St. Andrews, and uh, I got a new valve. So, what I have to do is get down under here and take off this old valve. And, uh, all it took was uh, knocking a pin out of the uh, All I had to do was knock this little press pin out of the hole on the lever. This goes in there, and this is what you push and pull to set or release the parking brake. So I knock that out, and then there's a jam nut on the front. So I took that off, and then the whole unit just slid out the back. Now all I got to do is take off these uh, the lines right here, these air lines. And uh, take out this valve right here, put it on the new part just like that, and then reinstall. So let's see if I can get this done. Talk to them about uh, getting these lines off, airlines off, and they said, all you got to do, I know you probably can't see from over there, but let me try putting you around a different spot. So that's a little better. And I'm going to try to do is take this crescent wrench. They said these are press fittings if you've ever seen them. What you have to do is press these in and then it releases the tension inside and the line should slide right out. But they said they use a screwdriver, but all I'm going to try is this. And then my pliers, this pair of pliers. See a little, little ring right there. So if I press that down and it's it's compressed, that'll release the tension on the inside. And the line will come right out. doing easy peasy and there's the old valve I got to do is now is take these elbows off put them on the new one take that plug out put it on the new one and uh, stick the lines back in now they should trim them on the back but if you do this just remember to dump all the air out of the lines. You don't want to have air pressure in the lines when you're trying to disconnect those lines. So. So just so you know, I took took a picture of this with my uh, phone, so I know what uh, how to put it back on. Stuff in there, and then take this plug out. Okay. Really? 
install.
back in there. Actually, channel locks to loosen it, so. the old one. What do you think? Seems to be working. Now I gotta do is crank it up and uh, let the air pressure build up and see what we got.
tools and everything out of the way. Great job. Let's see what we got. Hi there, this is uh, Phil from Metal Detecting RVer. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for watching my video and let you know if you like it, go ahead and click down below and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, don't forget you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get more information, more videos coming your way. And also, leave me a comment uh, if you want to just say hello or if you have a specific question or, or something of interest you want to talk about, just leave me a comment. So, until next time, happy trails, keep it swinging free, bye for now, fill out.